KOK members, today, CTO of KOK Foundation will inform you the more detail of KOK platform, especially its token economy. First, he will briefly explain the characteristics of KOK platform and give you the full explanation of the adjustments. For your better understanding, he will also explain formula and principle of the platform and strategy to rise platform price through burning of KOK token. Hi, this is Yong Cho again. Uh, I'd like to share my understanding of KOK platform's token economy, especially on um, how to mint our KOK tokens and how to burn and when to burn our KOK tokens. Okay, to understand the whole um, features of KOK token economy, KOK is a platform as well as an ecosystem. Ecosystem is something live. Usually we say um, something live follows S-curve in its uh, growth pattern. So um, surely a KOK platform has ecosystem nature, but also it has uh, platform features. Platform has the characteristics of um, exponential growth. Such exponential growth, they try to become a, a monopoly, like a, uh, a you winner know, takes all. Like um, huge companies like uh, Google, Apple, they try to be a platform and they grow exponentially. But um, KOK platform, we try to become a uh, fair and a sharing platform enabled by blockchain and AI technology with participants. That's a very important concept and that is our philosophy to become fair sharing platform with all the stakeholders. So in short, something growing exponentially explode this way but in nature, something uh, growing exponentially cannot survive, actually. It explodes and goes, uh, you know, resources are limited. So something healthy cannot grow ex exponentially. So um, we want to make our KOK platform real healthy sustainable ecosystem. So somehow we need to adjust this exponential growth pattern to something sustainable, something stable, also something healthy and fair mechanism. So as I said, um, many growth shows as patterns, something like this. On ecosystem, used to be said the uh, big simulation of many small S's. So it grows something like this usually. And um, we call this ecosystems growth characteristics curve. And um, for KOK platform, for many reasons and with behind um, philosophy and uh, with the outcomes of our um, uh, founders' uh, discussions, we tried to fit our growth characteristics curve this way. Something grow rapidly, but uh, that allow and it converge to certain uh, equilibrium. And um, it is shown in terms of circulating KOK tokens. There are many ways to show our philosophy of growth. But um, in terms of tokens, KOK tokens, especially uh, circulating tokens, we fitted our characteristic curve this way. The original the maximum theoretical maximum uh, amount of K KOK tokens is 5 billion. 
our platform is designed to grow quickly, expand user bases rapidly, but uh, we try to converge our um, amount of circulating KK tokens to follow this uh, characteristic curve and then converge to some numbers. It is um, 1.5 billion KOK tokens. The uh, token economy and um, all those um, equations, formula, are to follow our behavior, like um, uh, mining behavior and uh, expanding our user bases and deciding our KOK platform price is to follow this characteristic curve. Actually, um, there are two knobs to control our uh, KOK token price, I mean platform price, and uh, mining rate, burning rate. First one is um, controlling mint rate, mining rate, and second knob is burning KOK tokens. Let's talk about the first um, mint rate. By the way, I use a mint and mining interchangeably. And um, if we allow a mint rate, and it grows like um, exponential like this, it shows like a exponential um, some um, coefficient a, like a, let's say uh, r, like uh, to reflect a uh, mining rate r and time. The um, it should follow this way, but um, this r is like a more more like a approximated um, uh, rate, like because um, uh, mining rate differs by the amount of uh, state uh, amount. So uh, if I just uh, let me approximate to one uh, rate r, and over time, the um, it grows this this way. If we reduce r it grows this way. If we reduce a further r, then it grows this way. This is the, um, uh, over time, the, um, the total amount of mint. So the small, uh, bigger r grows faster. This is the first knob of how to control total amount of circulating KOK tokens. And I'll talk about second knob, so-called burning. We have in-house um, token economic mathematician. And um, we worked intensively to, uh, and also we simulated intensively to come up with um, token price decision algorithms, mining rate decision uh, algorithms. Uh, in summary, uh, we use alphabet pruning. It's more like min-max algorithms. Like, um, let me uh, describe the uh, formula. Um, if I say M prime, it's the um, total accumulated um, KOK tokens is described like this uh, over observation time period. Like um, <clears throat> this the stake uh, amount T times um, mint rate. It's more like a, a <clears throat> vector summation. Let's say this is the accumulated um, KOK token amount. And then um, as a minimum, this is the um, uh, platform price, minimum average platform price is the uh, vector uh, uh, result, max, I mean, uh, min. Minimum of um, observation period. And um, <clears throat> that um, accumulated KOK amounts times some uh, basis function of F. This is um, the vector to reflect the um, uh, supporters, referees, you know, um, supporters, like our user bases are expanded by uh, referral only. So <clears throat> referees, they get some uh, commissions, all those you know, equations. So if I <clears throat> summarize all those things into vector, then uh, this we can say, let's say this uh, f, it's a basis function 
to reflect all the natures and parameters of um, support uh, referee refer that considerations. Then um, this is the um, <coughs> platform price, average price, minimum. And of course, the, uh, for the observation period, platform price, average price, maximum, could it be maximum of uh, the same. The period um, between uh, like alpha beta and uh, the uh, accumulated fund, then uh, the phase function. And um, the uh, platform price is decided uh, with the um, zeta function of these two um, min max. This equation actually helps us to decide two things. Currently, we have um, 0.15 platform price that could become 0 0.17, 0 0.19. <clears throat> How to decide the price? We use this uh, formula. Also, we use um, also uh, my ratio. So, the whole uh, goal is to follow that uh, characteristic curve very closely. The total amount of um, circulating KOK tokens would better follow our uh, decision or our vision. As I said, um, the uh, minted amount can grow exponentially. But um, if it, even though we decide this R, and P, and there could become some gaps, I mean, diverge from the characteristic curve, then we need to adjust the total amount. That is done by the second nerve. What is that? Burning. So how to decide uh, burning to adjust to the uh, original characteristic curve? And there are actually two, two schemes of burning. The, the first one is uh, periodic burning. The second one is institutional burning. The um, periodic burning is like this. Like um, if KOK tokens are consumed to purchase items, goods, services on platform, and those amount is reserved for uh, burning, and coming and burning. And also, if KOK tokens are used to get exchanged to uh, other cryptocurrencies for withdrawal, and those amount is also reserved for uh, burning. That kind of burning is periodic burning. And um, if that um, periodic burning is not enough to follow like, uh, at a certain time, the token amount with all those um, burning, if that amount is still different, differ from the uh, characteristic curve, then we may need to adjust manually. That is so-called institutional burning. And that burning is decided by our burning equation. Periodic burning is obvious to get understand. But um, institutional burning is rather complicated. And um, we came out with this um, burning formula. Like, um, for the certain observation period, at the end of the period, uh, we burn some amount, reserved, consumed amount. If we still need uh, some uh, burning, then um, 10 million, we chose this coefficient, and then times is 9 by 10. And um, k, of course, should be 1, less than 1. So um, we use this kind of burning equation to decide the institution burning. Like um, if consumed uh, burning, I mean, uh, Periodic burning is enough to 
converge that um, um, characteristic curve, then uh, we don't need institutional body. This will uh, uh, tell that. The whole reason uh, behind these uh, complicated equations and all these uh, adjusting um, efforts are this. KOK token holders. I mean, uh, we like to share the um, benefits generated from this KOK platform with participants, especially uh, with early builders, early participants with this uh, KOK platform. So, um, if we grow this way, like um, 1.5 billion coins, but um, as time goes, and uh, if we do our other jobs, and we'll have more and more dApps, and we'll have bigger and bigger user bases. Like um, last time uh, I explained about Fisher's current equation. If I remind you, it is written like this. Like uh, the value of KOK token, or P, is something like uh, all the summation or vector of transactions over MV, amount of money, and this uh, number of hands changes, velocity, so-called like money amount, so the like KOK amount, and velocity. But because um, we have huge uh, transactions with this, obviously um, we expect um, big growth of uh, KOK coin price. That price is divided by uh, 1.5 billion. And uh, the T grows, but the number of coins reduces. That means uh, KOK coin holders can get huge benefits. Personally, um, I don't see other any other reasons not to reach like uh, $100 for coin, KOK tokens, in five years. That's my dream. Transaction increases, user base increases, we'll get, uh, we'll invite more dApps, but uh, we maintain our number of total circulation coins. And to achieve these goals, we need to adjust our mine rate, and we need to burn our KOK tokens periodically. So we'll make this dream happen really altogether. Thank you.